and we are live. Uh, welcome to Joey's Movie Blog. Uh, I am your host, Joey Strandberg, um, and I uh, have things that I want to discuss today, and that the lighting. I, don't know, I need to get next thing I need to invest in is actual lighting. But uh, yeah, how are you guys doing today? Uh, hang on. The looks like we got two people in here and one like. So that is very, very exciting. Um, so yeah, I have things that I'm let me take this off the C. I don't know, maybe. Uh, yeah, I'm still working with the new microphone and all that stuff. So I should probably actually talk into it. So because uh, I recorded an episode of my podcast on Sunday, hoping to get that up. Lighting is really distracting. Okay. Maybe I'll actually... I thought it would look cool like this, but uh, apparently I it just does not look that Uh, let's, tr tr you know, I'll just try it like this. Amazing film guy. What's up, dude? Uh, nothing much. Uh, school, uh, pandemic life, I guess. Um, I've been extremely busy lately with some stuff that I am going to be talking about, combined with school so yeah looks like we got three people in here well now two but uh yeah uh i've just been busy being joey there's nothing really much to it because i'm i'm just me hoping we could get more people in here because it's a bit frustrating because I do want lately because uh, I haven't really had like a whole lot of time to do YouTube. Um, of course, you know, my podcast and which I am recording another episode of soon. Uh, I'm hoping I need to get the first episode up. I'm still waiting to hear back. And, you know, it's Halloween season, so... Uh, yeah, it's getting really exciting. And then there's also uh, pandemic stuff going on, so let's see how that goes. How are you doing, amazing film guy? Anyway, I figured I'd move on to today's discussion. So, uh, behind the scenes, so I've put most of my focus into my uh, writing. Um, a lot of people know that uh, I want to be a filmmaker when I grow up. I also want to write movies. Um, I'm working on a, uh, TV show, um, at the moment. I'm not, I don't have much plans when it comes to filming at the moment, because obviously I am just a kid who lives in his mother's attic. So that's 
kind of off the table because like but i i am writing a show called the outcasts um the outcast follows three vigilantes a detective and a street gang member who have to band together to stop a terrorist attack in los angeles and the characters we got are Miles, Michaela, Chase, Detective Jack Schlair, and Xander Drake. I get that first time I ever made a proper production was a small film in creative media for college. I've never really done a lot of... Uh, I really want to, uh, I'm interested in, uh, making a short film. Hopefully I just want it to be something. I work on two show, two shows, com- comedy shows recently. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, also, uh, if you guys want to private message me at some point, um, you know, I could read these scripts. Um, you could get a hold of me on Instagram, Twitter, or Twitter. Um, I'm always down to read some screenplays f- for you guys. But yeah, um, it is uh, an it's a very character based show um there's a lot of side characters in it um of course you got the villain uh orion odair both are about the most awful people imaginable hmm interesting um but yeah, uh, Orion O'Dare is the main bad guy of the series. Uh, he has his right hand man, Brion. Um, and then, of course, we got Miles' dad, Clark, who has kind of a rough backstory with the vigilante stuff. Um, um, then we got Commissioner Douglas Shrink, who's kind of the occurring annoyances annoyance in Jack's plot. Um, yeah, um, I'm not really. Sh- I don't really want to spoil much for you guys, because um, you know. I don't want uh, whenever I make this show and like whenever I make it to be like uh, you like you guys come back to this video and talk about how you got how I spoiled the show many years prior. But yeah, and I've been i'm co-writing another movie uh with kenneth's corner i'm not going to get much detail into it uh because i'm we're still kind of in the planning stages of it um but uh yeah uh so an interesting discussion topic that's been going on this week is the snyder cut so um this week we got confirmation that Jared Leto is uh, returning to the cut to as Joker. Um, in terms of what I think of it, you know, I'm not a big fan of Suicide Squad. Uh, I really dislike that movie, um, but uh, and I wasn't the biggest fan of Jared Leto as the Joker. Um, I just didn't really like his interpretation, but I, I I'm excited to see kind of what uh, Joker uh, brings. Of course, I'm actually very very excited about the Snyder Cut. Uh, you know, 
I like Zack Snyder as a director. Um, he's not the masterful genius Twitter likes to make him out to be. But, uh, you know, Suicide Squad was garbage. Jared is a great actor, but the writing and directing him was awful. Uh, yeah, you know, I, I, I'm still curious to know what uh, he has to offer for the movie for the Snyder cut. I don't even know like what's all going on. There's like so much plot to it. If I'm messing up the audio, I'm sorry. Yeah. Using these like long mic arms are kind of weird. It's my first time ever using kind of a external uh. Okay. Yeah, this mic arm is kind of odd. Yeah, but they also confirmed today that, uh, is it Joe Manjo, Leo, who played uh, Deathstroke in the after credit scene of Justice League, uh, he's confirmed to be back, which I kind of expected. Uh the one I was not expecting that I'm kind of surprised about was uh, Amber Heard. Um, I know a lot of people, you know, there is that whole Johnny Depp controversy. Um, yeah, I'm kind of surprised that she's back, to be honest. Uh, like, wow. Like, w what? I'm I'm in shock, kinda. Um, but I mean, I'm not gonna let it affect my enjoyment of the Snyder Cut. So yeah, uh, that's uh, unfortunate. But you know, it's kind of funny because I remember I made a video. Uh, the day before the Snyder Cut uh, was released, uh, saying that I didn't think it was going to happen. And then, like, I was kind of embarrassed by that video. I may set it to private because, yeah, I kind of was one of those it's not going to happen people. I know if uh, Tyler from Your Movie Fix ever finds this, who I hope never finds this, um, or finds the old video, um, it's just so embarrassing to look back on. Even though I do know uh, certain vids and uh, Jared Williams, or Jaron Williams from uh, Jaron Talks Movies, uh, did like a video reacting to their unpopular movie opinions. But yeah, I'm still working on a new microphone. Like, I think I'm going to try this. I'm still working on new microphone angles. It's just kind of hard because I don't really want the microphone like getting in the way of my face. This mic isn't bad. Okay. Yeah, I I'm still kind of experimenting because, you know, I'm all about style. So, like, can you hear me if I'm, like, at this angle? Like, I'm still trying to figure out, like, what I want my new... Like, I... I'm 
I've been experimenting with the style I want for, well, like, I could hear you fine. Okay. Um, thank you. I'm very, very picky with my audio quality. So, especially since, you know, I am me. Um, my, I am aware, like, I do have to apologize to a lot of people for a lot of my videos not really having the best audio quality. Uh, I am completely aware of it. Uh, those older videos. I'm hoping to improve that. Um, but uh, yeah, overall, the Snyder Cut, uh, some... I'm not shocked by some of the reprises, and I am shocked by the by a couple of them. Yeah, I am just very, very excited about like the future of DC. You know, the new Batman trailer was epic, man. Um. For a while there, I actually thought DC kind of was going to sink the ship for a while. But, you know, I enjoyed Aquaman. Uh, really loved Shazam. I like. I really liked Wonder Woman. Um, loved the Joker. I really enjoyed Birds of Prey. Um... And uh, DC fandom was an epic, epic thing. I'm also excited for the two video games coming. Um, yeah, I'm hopefully whenever Wonder Woman... I'm excited for Wonder Woman 1984 whenever that comes out. Um... Which, yeah, I do doubt is actually going to be coming at the end of the year. Uh, just because it's 2020, it's a pandemic, it's... Yeah, I don't even know what's going to happen. I'm not going to lie. Uh, the This week, uh, just I've kind of taken a break from politics stuff. Uh, I've been very politically active on my social media. How many episodes have you written? Uh, when it comes to my TV show, um, I've written six episodes. I'm going through the rewrite phase at the moment. I actually have a... Uh, I have like a physical copy of my... Uh, script of the pilot episode. So, yeah, I I'm still right re doing a rewrite for episode two. Uh, it's just, um, yeah, um, it's crazy, man. Like, it's just been like the most fun I've had writing something. Um, of course, there's a lot of people, like, I couldn't have, uh, gotten to the point where I'm at without, like, the teacher from my old screenplay class, uh, my good pal Hendrix films, um, uh, you know, just, and then, of course, I've, uh, been working with some other people with that, you know, we're a small independent writing company, I guess, called Six Shot Films. Um, yeah, it's very, very exciting. It's going to be a bit of a short season. It's going to be six episodes long. I may expand it just a little bit because I, but I haven't really thought about it um but uh yeah uh let's oh this the crazy things you see when you 
look at your phone and see the news. But, uh, yeah, uh, kind of bummed about some of the more recent movie delays. Uh, the Batman, I have to wait until 2022. Um, I'll be two months from graduating high school at that point, which is insane from for me to think that I'm... Oh, yeah, Ghostbusters 3, uh... That's actually one I'm curious about. Wasn't the biggest fan of the 2016 Ghostbusters, but I think nobody was. But, um, yeah, it seems like it's just something that, uh, I, it's something that I am curious about. Uh, whoa. Hang on one second. Felt like a bad SNL skit. Yep. Stupid mic arm. And then Dune also bummed me out, though it was expected. Uh, hang on, guys. Uh, yeah, we do got Bo Rat too. I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. I haven't even seen the first Bo Rat, to be honest with you guys. Watch with kids, okay? I'll get my cousins. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't have any little kids in my house to... Bruno's another one. Oh, friends, okay. Yeah, I'm not sure if my best friend from school would... Uh, want to watch that one. She's... Kind of... Okay, I think I got the situation figured out. But yeah, all I really know about Bo Rat is the whole poster with Sasha Baron Cohen. Yeah. And I'm working with microphones is kind of new to me. So, uh, yeah.
Hopefully more people will join in because, to be honest, uh, people are kind of the thing of live streams. So, yeah. Yeah, I eventually want to make some changes to this whole situation. Sasha is a comedic genius. I want. Yeah, he's pretty funny, actually. Uh, I haven't seen much of him. Actually, I need to do. I need to look up what movies I have seen with him in it. I know this is very unprofessional. <laughs> Yep, that's the thing about being a, a comedian. Yeah, he was in Anchorman 2. Oh, I, I didn't know he was... Uh, Julian from Madagascar. It's so weird when you learn all these facts about people. My main thing is comedy. All right, comedy, music, comedic scripts, and stand up. That is very, very good. Uh, keep it up. Um, oh, that's cool as well. I mean, just focus on what you love doing mostly. Like me. Um, I am more into writing character study stuff. Um, you know, I'm a pretty funny guy in real life. I know uh, I haven't really shown it on this channel before, but, um, I crack a lot of jokes all the time in school. Uh, I'm kind of a goofball. Um, yeah, um. Yeah, just my advice when people ask me, like, what the um, most uh, creative thing is, like, when they want to write a story, there's a quote said by Martin Scorsese saying that the most personal is the most creative. And I live by that motto. Because it's like, I can't just tell you that, hey, write a crime thriller now. I, I can't tell you that. Um, because I don't know what type of stuff you want to write. So yeah, that's kind of my advice when it comes to writing story stuff. Yeah, I am tired. I had kind of a funny day today. So I am a percussionist. Um, I play the drums. Um, I had to go to the school for a football game and the weather where I live at the moment just sucks like majorly and um, I had to go to the school 
Oh, you didn't have school today. Are you doing online schooling stuff? Or are you on like any break? Yeah, I had to go to the school today for a football game. And as soon as I got in, everyone was leaving. Oh, no, midterm. Okay. Um, yeah, but like the entire band was packed up and I'm like, what I... And I wasn't really that surprised, but I was very frustrated with how things turned out with because everything. It's 2020. Yeah, I'm really surprised my school has lasted as long as it has with this whole pandemic because just a lot of craziness going on it's you know but i am very blessed that i've been able to continue my education at least even if i have to wear a mask to school Yeah, man, it's just very, very, I don't know if you could tell right now, but I'm actually getting really, really tired. And it's like 8 o'clock where I live. Seven twenty-five here. Oh, so we're like an hour behind, so. And I have to work in the morning. So I'll probably end the stream here because um, I am very, very tired right now. Um, had a pretty good day today. Um, I'll probably do a little bit of writing. Um, all good, dude. You do you. Okay. Um Hopefully I'll catch you on another stream or whatever I do. I do got plans uh, for videos coming down the line. And uh, stay tuned for uh, one video I know for a fact is coming is uh, my complete Blu-ray collection. So that is very, very exciting. Um, I do it every year. Um course it's gonna be a bit different from last year's collection because i've gotten new stuff so uh yeah as always this is your host joey strandberg uh signing off and i'll see you guys next time see ya man